Hello, I'm Pastor Tim Holscher, talking about things that are true about us in Christ. I've been looking at um, some issues related to being priests, and one of those things in, in the book of Philippians has to do with serving together, because we serve together as priests in Christ. All of us are in Christ, and we are priests in Christ. And we have this verse in chapter 4 that many of us know, that my God will supply all or every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And we talked about that yesterday. That has to do with spiritual need. And we talked about the fact that there were a couple of ladies and they'd had a conflict in this church and how it had this it had spread. And having said all of that, I want to look at a verb that I talked about, I believe, the very first day I started these studies back in March. And you can go back and look at that video um, talking about uh, this framework of mind. It's not the word mind, which is the Greek word noose. It's the word frain and then the verb phroneo. You don't need to learn those terms. I'm just trying to explain that there is a real Greek word family that is behind this idea. And it has to do with a framework that you have within your mind where there are some truths or some facts that you put in your mind and through those you filter other details. And I want to I want to show you this, and I, I pulled the Greek up beside this side by side so that you can hopefully see this. Um, and we are in Philippians chapter two, and just trying to keep this very simple here in verse two, Philippians two and verse two, he says, "Make my joy complete by," and this is the NIV, which actually does a very good job of representing this idea, being like-minded. And in the Greek over here, it says the same thing framing your mind with or reflectively thinking it's one of the ways I grew, I kind of grew up learning this thing but it's the same thing so they have like minded over here but it's the same thing frame your mind with the same thing the same truths the, the truths you're thinking of you should be thinking of we we both should be doing this and those have to do with things that are true about us in Christ he goes on having the same love joint soul and then he comes back and then he says and the one thing the one thing framing your mind with. And here we have the verb. Here it is the verb, but it says a participle, which is why the ending is different. But it's the one thing. One thing, he says. Let's go over to Philippians chapter 4 and verse 2, where he talks to these two ladies. And he says, and I plead with Yodia and I plead with Syntyche to Nenevi again, to be of the same mind. I know it's a lot of English translations say to agree or to be harmonious, but literally to be the same mind. And it's the same thing we had in, in chapter 2, verse 2, the same thing framing your mind with. It's a, here it's a verb, but it's as an infinitive form, which is again why the ending is, is used this way. But here it says in the Lord. So it clearly tells us that this has to do with in Christ. Now I want to look at one last passage that really clarifies this idea, and it's back in chapter 3, where Paul says, Brothers, I do not consider myself to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and reaching forward to what is ahead. And we talked about this, I believe, last week, this idea of believers holding on to what we've accomplished in the past, and we and as a result of that, it, it influences in a negative way sometimes what we're doing right now. And so he says in verse 14, I pursue my goal, the prize promised by God's heavenly call in Christ Jesus. And that heavenly call is the call for us to come up to who we are in Christ. To remember, this is who we are in Christ. Come up here. Set your frame of mind up here. And so he says in verse 15, therefore, all who are mature should think there's our verb again. We should frame our minds this. We should frame our minds with this. And if anyone, if this would be the word anyone, differently frames his mind. So here the idea is he does it differently. This word, we have a couple of words for um, something that is other in Greek. We have the word alas, and here it's the word heteros, except this is an adverb. So it's heteros. And he says, and we frame our minds differently. In other words, 
what did he what did he keep saying over in chapter two? The same thing in the one thing. And what did he say in chapter four? The same thing. And so now he's saying it's this. What is this? This upward call of God in Christ Jesus that you can't set your mind to. You can't set your mind to who you are in Christ if you're constantly looking back at what you've accomplished. You gotta let that go and look forward. And frame your mind with this, this upward call, who you all are in Christ. If you think differently, set your mind to something different, it says God will reveal this also to you. He's going to point it out and say, hey, your mind's not on the same page that everybody else is. You need to set your mind to who you are in Christ. And when we do that, when we as believers are trying to serve together and we can't get on the same page and we're having conflict, it's almost always because somebody is focusing on what they think is the best way to do something down here. They're setting their minds on things below. In fact, just down below here in this context, and let me pull this up, um, he actually says that there are these other people here and they... They fo are focused on, let's pull up so you can see the Greek word. Come on, let's get it there. They're focused on earthly things. And we have, here it is, this freneo. I don't know why those, it doesn't come up there, but it's the same thing. They set their mind on earthly things. And that's where you have conflict because people set their mind, they frame their mind with things on this earth. And now you're not doing it my way and we're, you're, I'm not doing it your way and we, we can't get along. Therefore, Paul can say in Philippians 4.19, God will supply our riches according to his or supply our need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus that's where the need's going to be met in who we are in Christ and if you frame your mind with that same thing and I frame my mind with that same thing the other believers that maybe you have conflict with are framing their minds with that same thing you'll have working together a good day in the Lord thank you for joining me